Hello Youtubers and Music Lovers, we are in our post-production studio and today it's a special video because I want to upgrade our music, monitor, audio, speakers. So this is our setup, it's not large but it has all you need for uh, for production underneath we have some uh, power amplifiers and i'm not going to show everything the idea is i made some testing and these gold dooms are not enough for my test so i will increase the quality by changing this and i got to tell you guys these speakers are amazing but it's time to change and upgrade this um, golden dooms with this Dean Audio tweeters are awesome and the heights are near to a high-end speaker so I will do this manually this is just for a test I inserted a small electronic part I inserted a capacitor or for uh, high frequencies the difference in sound it's I think doubled you can you can compare this factory Twitter with this Dean Audio and we will try to make an upgrade I will change and remove this uh, metallic net remove this speaker I will draw a hole and let's see use the built-in filters my uh, capacitor is just for testing I will use these built-in filters from uh, the speaker to make this uh, high Twitter um, work let's do a previous test comparison uh, do a before and after we will use flag files 24 bit at uh, 96 kilohertz and uh, at uh, 44 kilohertz with 60 bit so guys we have four tracks we're gonna play short sequence of uh, these tracks and you're gonna make yourself an opinion uh, remember that the bass is more powerful that you can uh, hear it on these recordings so guys we will begin the recording with the original golden doom from monitor audio the tweeters original tweeters of these speakers and we're gonna test a single speaker and you're gonna make an opinion before and after hello my name is mr bones So guys, we have removed the Twitter from uh, the monitor audio. Also, in uh, our Dean Audio Twitter, we have a blue line that indicates the plus, but I will check it just to be sure. So this will be perfect. This trim, I will cut up and uh, mount the speaker into this grill. So with the cell I made three intercessions. Now let's see. Oh, it's quite good. I must work just a little bit more and I, I'm almost not having any space at all. I want to see what's holding. My father was an engineer and he told me in life to have patience and in most fine things to work with elegance. So you know, uh, the speakers and the tweeters are not looking awesome on the back side because the back side goes into the speaker. So these tweeters look awesome on this side. I make sure they I'm not touching this surface and I'm touching only this one. So I have tiny dots. You can glue them on uh, on this side. And uh, after this, I will use a glue gun. Now with this gun. I want to isolate every space. So after I was unsatisfied with this Twitter, 
I removed the front grill because it obturated a lot a lot of sound. So for me it was not enough. And I removed the grill and I think it looks very very good. Nado Twitter is perfect centered and it's delivering the highs to you, not being obturated or obstructed by any obstacle in its way. The next step I will take out the back panel, I will do the wiring and I will avoid the built-in crossover only for the Twitter. With a capacitor specially designed for uh, Hi-Fi Twitters. I will remove this capacitor which it has the logo of Monitor Audio with this capacitor which is smaller but gives more high frequencies. After inserting on the board the new capacitor, I made the soldering which is only for the tweeter. I was surprised that in the interior of the speaker it's on the driver, on the back on the driver it's a big, big magnet. So inside are good quality materials, even this it's a small and sensitive foam for the vibrations on each wire. So guys, mounting this Dina Audio Twitter inside this stream was a good idea but something was missing so I wanted to be perfect the sound like I tested before. So after making a lot of tests, a lot of work was uh, struggling to make the sound perfect, I come up with the idea to mounting in the front of this box speaker and leaving the two tweeters making this tweeter for the mids and the heights and this for the ultra heights. You remember that yellow capacitor that write the monitor audio on it? Well, I uh, put it back on the main board and uh, that small capacitor I go directly, I bypass the board and go and connect it directly the, the Dina Audio, the silk Dina Audio tweeter. So now I have bass and mids mids and high and ultra highs here you cannot expect for this driver to bring you subwoofer based these are studio audio monitors you cannot expect subwoofers but it gives you the bass reflex from the back of this driver the bass will take it from the back and give you in the front so you will have a lot of bass but this is not the idea the idea is to have a quality sound to listen to the hiss, to the pops, to the all kinds of unnecessary and unuseful sounds in the background to eliminate them and uh, to work clean. So now guys, I'm proud of this speaker even if uh, it leaves a small residue here, I don't care about this, the aesthetics is not important, I think it looks good, the quality of the sound it's mind blowing and uh, I will put the four tracks you listened before, I will make side by side.
So guys, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, guys, subscribe that button and put the notification bell because we'll have a lot of uh, interesting ideas every week. Thank you for watching. Have a pleasant day, guys. See you. Bye.